Hi, I'm Mason Hayatim with Gallery M in Cherry Creek, Denver, and I'm sitting with my business partner and co-founder, Myrna Hayatim of Gallery M, and today we're going to talk to you about Day and Night by Yako Vagam. Myrna, tell me a little insight about Yako Vagam. How long have you worked with his works and him? I have actually been working with himself, his family, and his work since 1992 officially. Okay, and he's still creating works today? Uh, monumental works, but the last couple of years really he was focused on opening his museum in Israel. Okay, and so the work that we have here is uh, a unique work or is it an addition work? It is an addition work. Right. It's a limited edition. It is hand signed on the verso, which is the back, and it is numbered on the back also. Okay, and are they large editions today, or are they small editions? How does the edition play to the value of the work? Well, a GOMS work is normally either 99, which is 9 is his most magical number, okay. or 149, which I believe this is from an edition of 149. So they're relatively small in the realm of the world. Okay. And one thing that you have mentioned to me in the past is uh, Yaakov Agam is a pioneer of the kinetic art movement, uh, considered by some a father of it. Uh, what is the distinction between kinetic art and, for example, op art? Okay. Uh, op art came right before kinetic art, and it's visually moving from front to back. It changes in that direction. Kinetic art moves from side to side. And even for Agam, he is noted for his fourth dimension. And the fourth dimension is time. I see. And so as you look at this work, if you're standing straight on, you're getting one visual. And as you move around it, it puts you in a different context, as does the time period that you're experiencing is his concept. Right, because what I saw last year is totally different than what I might see today. Understood. So uh, that's the time element. Okay. So this again is Day and Night by Yaakov Agam. And Myrna, any other thoughts on Yaakov Agam's work here? Uh, this is very collectible. He is in his early 90s and not releasing work like this anymore. Okay. At gallerym.com, we can help you with your smallest to largest collection needs. I'm Mason Hayaton, and this is Myrna Hayaton.